Hello everyone. How are y'all doing? Hope you've had a really good week. Thanks for joining me today for this week's Bite Size. So this week I've been thinking about being kind to people. And I was reading in the Bible, Paul says to be kind to everyone. Well, I don't know about you, but sometimes I find being kind to people, I've got to be honest, I find it really, it takes quite a bit of effort. But, well, when I think about it, being kind to people who are kind back to me, that's easier. Like if it's a friend or my brother or sister. But if someone's not kind back, I find that difficult. But God knows it's best for us to be kind to everyone. So I guess he'll help us to be kind to everyone. Now, in this week's story, Belle's going to be telling our Bible story today. She's going to be talking about someone who is kind to someone. So maybe we can learn from that. Let's see. Ruth lived with her mother-in-law. Both Ruth and her mother-in-law's husband had died. So they lived together. Ruth had chosen to stay with her mother-in-law, Naomi, to look after her. She could have gone back home to her own parents and lived a very comfortable life. Ruth chose to go back to Bethlehem with Naomi, to Naomi's hometown. So Ruth went with Naomi to Bethlehem. The women of Bethlehem welcomed Naomi back, but they were sorry to hear since she was so poor and so unhappy. In those days, Women had no way of earning a living if they didn't have a husband or sons to provide for them. But God had given the Israelites a special law so that they would help all those in need. Farmers must allow poor and hungry people to come into their harvest fields and pick up any stray stalks of grain that the reapers had dropped or overlooked. When Naomi and Ruth arrived in Bethlehem, they were harvesting the barley. Let me go and glean barley, Ruth suggested. If I work hard, I can get enough for both of us to eat. Ruth set out early and chose one field where the reapers were working busily. She kept close to them all morning, picking up every stray grain stock she could see. At midday, Boaz, who owned the land, came to see how the harvest was going. Who is that girl gleaning over there? Boaz asked, pointing to Ruth. She is the foreign girl from Moab, one of his men told him, Naomi's daughter-in-law. Now, Boaz had heard about Ruth, for news travels fast in a small town, and he went across to her. Keep near my reapers for the rest of the harvest, he said. I will see that they leave you in peace. 
When you are thirsty, drink from the water that my men have drawn. Now, come and have dinner. Why are you so kind to me? Ruth asked in surprise. I have heard about your kindness to Naomi, Boaz explained. May the God whom you have learned to trust keep you safe in his care. Without a word to Ruth, Boaz told his reapers to drop some barley stalks on purpose so that Ruth would have extra to pick up and take home. Naomi was delighted at Ruth's success. However did you get so much? she asked. I went to a field belonging to a man called Boaz, Ruth told her. He was very kind to me. How good God is, Naomi exclaimed. Thanks to Belle for this week's story. So what can we take away from the story? Is there any way, anything that you can think of? Any way that you can be kind? Like Boaz was kind? Can you think of anything? Maybe you could talk kindly to someone. Maybe you can do something kind for someone. Have a think about it. Now let's see what our bite size extra is this week. What's it going to be? So it's a bite size challenge this week. Maybe Jacqueline will give you an idea and the challenge how you can be kind to someone. Why don't you check that out and see? Okay everyone, that's us for today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.